What is going on guys? It is another awesome day. Super excited. So happy to do this video. Finally got my animals back. I've been waiting for my permits to come here to the new house. I wasn't able to have my animals here yet, but I got my permit yesterday and I've been working non-stop all night last night moving most of my animals here. I still have some of them out of the house, but tonight, tonight, we're gonna go check out the new snake room. Super excited, hopefully you guys are too. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, so over here I have my squams and all my arboreal stuff. Uh, the four squams are still in here. I did find out shortly after we moved that there is actually three males and only one female. My big red one's a female. They were locked up for quite some time, but soon we'll have babies with them. Now down here I do have my white lipped tree vipers, my female and my male. Um, pretty much the same setup as the old house, but in a couple months I'm going to be changing this whole area slowly but surely doing living vivariums. Um, I'm going to do one at a time because they're very complicated living systems and they're quite expensive and on top of that you need to do them right otherwise they will fail. So over time I'm going to be doing actual living vivariums with bugs and insects and all that fun stuff with the snakes. I love doing cross species in my enclosures, which we're going to check out more of those here in a second. What's up little buddy? Daddy's missed you so much. Oh, sorry. Um, all right, so in here, now these are smaller cages, but in here I have my two Mexican West Coast rattlesnakes, my big male, as you guys know. He is quite famous on my channel. Uh, the female is back there. Now, I did take the Western Diamondback rattlesnake out of here because this is a smaller cage. Um, not like the six footer that I was keeping them in. I don't have anything in this uh, four footer underneath yet, but soon enough, I will. Not worried about it right now. Um, so happy to have them in their new cages. They're all set up and happy. What's up? You just want to come out and play, don't you? You've missed me. I know. I've been gone from my animals for a very long time. It's very nice to have them back at my home. I'm very excited about it. Uh, up here, I do have the Coral Cobra. Uh, probably be redoing her cage here soon, too. Going to be putting her in a nice new bigger enclosure, even though I did say in the past she can live in this cage, but I kind of want to change it up because, well, I like to do things big when I get these snakes. So. Alright guys, now as most of you guys do know, I absolutely love rattlesnakes. So these are all my medium to small rattlesnakes and some vipers as well. Um, as you see there is a lovely towel covering this one because she is very noisy. Hi sweetheart! Okay, so this is the western diamondback rattlesnake, my big western. 
Um, she was in with the Mexican West Coast Rattlesnakes, but again, I did separate her out. I have my three beautiful Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnakes down here, my lovely male, my female, and then the head albino female down there. See, that's why you had a towel covering you, because you're so damn noisy. You gonna stop? You gonna stop? You gonna stop? No? Okay. We're just gonna cover that up. All right, so over here, super cool. Um, I actually put three different rattlesnakes together. I put my head albino eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Come on over here. Um, I put my black tail rattlesnake in here and also the other um, western diamondback rattlesnake in here. So the regular westerns under there, the one I got from Texas from a fan of YouTube. The albino is underneath that other hide and then the Arizona black tail rattlesnake is right there on top. Looks like she's actually about to go and shed soon, which is awesome. Um, so. Now, technically, it's only two different species in here, but with the locality of the westerns, um, they are kind of different, so it's really cool to have these three rattlesnakes in here. They're not full grown yet, so they can stay in here no problem. I'm just going to cover you up just because you're being nosy. No, nope, no. Nope. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, they'll be fine in there for right now. Um, they all ate last night. I fed everybody once I did get them here to the house, so I don't have a problem with them eating at all. Now down here, I have my South American rattlesnake, the bigger of the South American rattlesnakes. She is doing fantastic. She's looking beautiful. She just shed before I picked her up last night. Uh, down here, I have the canebrake rattlesnakes, the female right there. The male's actually buried in the back right there underneath the mulch. So he's kind of just blending in. Kind of scary, actually, if you think about it, because you almost cannot see him. They're here. They're doing great, nice and healthy. And of course, everybody's favorite on my channel, my beautiful Gaboon Viper. I have her down here. Gave her some nice new fresh bedding. She started to bury herself a little bit. Um, when I was actually feeding her on Thursday, I posted a video of her eating on Instagram um, at my sister's house. It was pretty cool. Did it in slow motion. A lot of people liked it. That's another thing if you guys want to check out my Instagram. I'm always posting stuff on there too. Now over here, I have all the baby stuff. So in this one here, I have my Rhino Viper. I have the Puff Adder here, uh, the Uricone Rattlesnake here, the other baby South American Rattlesnake here, who looks like he just went to the bathroom. And then down here, I have my, what is that? My Mojave Rattlesnake. So all the babies are doing great. They all ate for my sister while they're at her house. Now over here, don't mind the broom. Over here is the Cobra Rack. Now, before we left, before we went on our little break, you guys know that I had two Cobras in quarantine. So over the break, they came out of quarantine and they've been living with my collection at my sister's house. So, very excited about these to show you guys in the snake room. Hang on, I gotta get a snake hook. So pretty. Hmm? Good. All right, so first one I'm gonna pull out is my beautiful, now this was the very first snake species I had ever or cobra species I actually started working with towards my hours. And the one I started working with was Tyler Nolan's. So I definitely wanted to get one of these guys, my beautiful banded. Now they're called banded Egyptian cobras even though they don't come from Egypt, but super excited. She's got a nice little rat in her. She looks like she's about to shed. So we're gonna go, whoops, come on. So we're gonna put her back. So she's out of quarantine, living in the snake rack. So happy. Now, the other one, if you guys remember correctly, it was a little feisty when I got her. She still is super feisty. Oh, God. She's all the way in the corner. Hey, you want to come out and say hi? So I'm going to leave her be because, again, she also just ate. But if you want to come over here and look at her, you can. So that is the leucistic... Monocle Cobra, very feisty snake, but very beautiful. I'm absolutely happy to have this snake in my collection. She is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Looks like she's gonna shed here soon too, which is always a good sign when snakes shed. Yeah, you backing up, Summer? That's water, good job striking your water. <laughs> Summer backed up a little bit, she was a little scared. Um, now in here I have the two monocle cobras. Um, as you guys know, I was breeding them 
last time you saw them, they did breed successfully, so I will be producing uh, albino monocle cobras this year. Um, and I know everybody absolutely loved the feeding eight baby cobra videos last year, so I'm going to let them be. The female is full of eggs. Uh, here shortly I'll have to take her out and put her in a cage with a nest box so she can lay her eggs comfortably. And then when it comes time to remove those eggs, there's no chance of them rolling around and getting ruined or anything like that. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the new snake room. I still have a lot of work to do in here. Um, I'm still getting another four footer from my buddy in Okeechobee, which will be going there soon. Um, but a lot of work to do. Really excited and happy to have my animals back at home with me. I need to go pick up the foxes still. I need to pick up the crocodilians still. So over time, everybody will start making their way back here. I can actually start doing videos more often now, which that is a big reason why I haven't been able to do my videos. Uh, big thank you to my Patreons for all the support since I've been off of YouTube. I've still been doing a lot of stuff on Patreon. Uh, so you guys are awesome for all that support that you do give me. If you guys would like to become a Patreon, definitely check out the link below. Uh, we will be putting that in there so you guys can check it out. Lots of cool different tiers and things you can do to help support me and Summer and all the work that we do do with the animals. Remember guys, smash that like button if that's something you're into. Uh, subscribe if you're not already because now that I have my animals, things are going to be getting a lot better. Oh, super excited. Anyway, subscribe if you are not already, seriously, because my channel is going to be getting very busy here soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!